Hi, this is Melanie from Screen Time with Mel, and today I'm going to talk about Big Sky Season 3, Episode 1. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, thanks so much for being here today. If you're returning, I really appreciate you coming back. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And if you're brand new, well, I hope you like TV because I do, and I want to talk to you about it. Okay, so let's talk about Big Sky Season 3, Episode 1. I will tell you that there will be some spoilers for previous seasons. So, if you want to wait until you're done with Season 3, Episode 1, then go ahead and do that because I'd hate to spoil you for all the previous episodes, including this one I'm about to talk about. So, when we get started, we meet this guy hiking out in, in the mountains in Montana, um, the cliffs and stuff like that, and... Uh, he hears this strange music and there's this old cassette recorder that he finds playing this music and he stops it and he looks around and there's this guy there creepy guy with a big old knife once it asks him to help to skin this deer that fell down the cliff and the guy is a little hesitant because he feels a little creeped out by the guy of course i feel creeped out but part of that has to do with the music in this in the episode but i think i would be creeped out if i were him too you know so he's like, no, I gotta go. So he continues on his hike, and he gets up to the top, um, and he's just excited, and he gets close to the edge, and he turns around and drinks his water, and then this guy's playing that music again, because he followed him up there. He's got his music player, he's got his big old knife, and the guy goes, hey, you better watch out for that, for the cliff behind you. And the guy keeps kind of backing up, and then he falls. Of course, I thought the guy was going to push him, but no, no, nope, he was just all creepy as all get out, and the guy creeps out, backs up too far, and falls on his own and dies of natural causes. Um, so that that's the end of that. That's all you meet. So I have a feeling this creepy guy is going to be the over, the, you know, the arc for the season. Of course, they've got the through lines for the seasons as well, for uh, multiple seasons, but this, I think this guy's going to be the arc for the season. Um, and then we get to where Cassie's talking with the team. I'm sorry, I'm bad about the names for everybody, but they do talk about how two of them are away following leads on the syndicate. This is the guy that was a U.S. Marshal and then the um, trans transgender girl. They're out following the syndicate, which is a pull from the uh, previous seasons. So they're chatting and... Uh, they they get the case for this missing hiker, which is the guy that we met in the first scene. And then uh, they talk about that a little bit. So Cassie decides she's going to follow up with a ranch that is out in the area where this guy was hiking. Um, so she, she leaves to do that, and Jenny leaves to... Um, go to the job because her boss came in and thanked and thanks I think it's Denise um, thanks her for the food that she cooked him and they left together to go back to the office and I believe they went to check on some no I think they were headed back to the office anyway Cassie goes out to this ranch and lo and behold the person that runs the ranch is Reba McIntyre that's not her character's name but it's Reba McIntyre you guys I mean, you've already got Jensen Ackles on the show, and I'm going to be loving that because I'm a huge Supernatural fan. Hey, and if you're a huge Supernatural fan and want to watch me go through and do reviews of each individual episode through all 15 seasons, kind of work that in in the slow, in, slow times, let me know. I'm happy to do that. I mean, I, I'm, I know almost all the episodes by heart just about, but... I would be happy to do that because I freaking love Supernatural. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Back to Big Sky. So we're at the ranch with that Reba McIntyre runs. She's talking to her husband. There's all the chitter chatter with that, which is cute. And Cassie shows them the flyer and says, Hey, if you see this guy's where you are and about, let me know. And they run this kind of glamping thing um, for tourists uh, in the area. So they run that. And that's about the extent of it. I mean, everything looks on the up and up. It looks great. So we then move back to Jenny with um, Bo, who is the guy that Jensen Ackles plays. 
Um, so Jenny and Bo, and they run across this guy running down the road in his underwear. Come to find out, he is a corrections officer, and he was overpowered by his prisoner that was in transport, and she stole his uniform, his weapon, and his car. So he's running around in his underwear. He still has his badge, but she stuffed in his underwear. And that was fun. And uh, they go back to the police station. They're talking about it, and they get a, they get a hit on this woman. She's she's kind of the the flavor of the the, the this week of this episode. Um, come to find out, the child that she's been raising, while well, not her biological mom, is about to be taken away out of the country. I think it was the country, and she's concerned about this and feeling like her mom. This is why she broke out and what who she's go ultimately going to see. Jump in there, you get some of the glamping folks, you've got some tension going on with a couple that's there. Um, you've got a teenager and her father, who you think is her father, and then a couple of other people, but they're not significant to the story, at least not yet. Um, so they're, they're, it's all the drama I'm doing with that. I'm not going to go through that beat by beat, it's just all that drama. And then you see Cassie going to take a look at it. And this, I might be mixing up timing to the timetable a little bit. But Cassie goes and looks at that ranch where the drug dealing family, which I can't remember their names, um, used to live. And the person selling it is the woman who was dealing with properties for this drug dealing family, this cartel. And uh, so she goes to see her and says, hey, I want to buy the ranch. And the woman saying, well, every, I've got a ton of offers on it. She goes, well, did you tell them that there's a meth lab in the basement and that people were murdered there? Because you got to disclose that. And uh, she got a little incensed by that. But basically, ultimately, Cassie makes an offer and it gets accepted. So she's taking over. But she's going to be taking the ranch, uh, buying that ranch, which is originally his, her father was going to buy it. So I think that she's kind of doing it in memory of her father. They end up catching up with the woman who was trying to see her daughter and, you know, basically kidnap her daughter and run away with her. Doesn't work out for her, but everybody survives. They do take her into jail, and the little girl's upset, of course, but at least nobody, she wasn't traumatized by anybody getting shot in front of her. That little particular storyline gets wrapped up, and in the end, you get go back to the camp, and they're doing s'mores and, and, you know, all that fun stuff. They do end up finding um, where the hiker, um, where he fell off the cliff. And that was found by a couple people in the camp. And, uh, you know, the, the character that Reba plays, which I didn't catch her name. I just looked at her and said Reba every time. Um, she, uh, she said, well, this stuff happens. It's unfortunate, etc., etc." And they move on and go back to the camp, and then they're around the fire doing s'mores and talking. Well, while they're at the fire, two significant things happen. First, this girl that's with her father, father, um, is looking at it, looking at her phone, and it says "Dad," and she sends him to voicemail. And then, um, and then the guy who's her father, which ends up being her stepfather. Um, looks at it and says, hey, maybe you should answer that. She goes, no, 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 I'll talk to him later. And then sends him to text, you know, I'm having lots of fun. Talk to you later. Love you. Well, come to find out that's Jensen Ackles daughter. And he tells the Cassie and Jenny, hey, because they're having a movie night. Cassie and Jenny, hey, you know, I'm just upset because I feel like she's slipping away from me. She's growing up without me there. And lets them know where she's at and who she's with and all this stuff. And they're like, oh, that's interesting. I, I reached out to them about my miss or my missing hiker case. Flash over to back to the, the camp. And the Reba is the only one around the campfire. And she is burning that piece of paper that Cassie gave them with a picture of the hiker. She's burning it. And I'm thinking, why is she doing that? Well, maybe she just doesn't want the camper, other campers to know, to get them scared away, bad publicity, etc., etc. And then she makes the s'mores, puts a couple on a plate, and then goes out into the woods and says, I know you're here. I have something for you. And she is Creepy Guy's mom. 
and gives him something to eat. So creepy guy's mom is this woman. He's been, I guess, living out in the freaking woods. We gotta know more about that. So yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the overarching, um, you know, bad guy in this particular season. But when when we discover that, everything goes black and it's the end of the episode. And now I gotta wait until the next episode comes out to find out more. And you know I wanna find out more. You guys, if you have not, if you're watching this and you haven't watched any of Big Sky, I hope I didn't ruin it too much for you because you really should go see it. It, um, go see it. You should watch it. It's on Hulu. I believe all three seasons are on Hulu. It's it's really a great show. It's not. Um, it is it is a cop show. It isn't like that kind of thing. It's in the it's in based in Montana, but it's not your bad guy a week. There's this major overarching theme for each season, and some of them go through into new seasons. Um, and like there's one where the stuffs actually cross we're into the third season the syndicate bit that we're into the third season with that so because that's tied to some stuff that happens in the first two seasons it's a great it's a great show this was a great episode start with the creepy guy so it sets you up for this and then you have your your normal banter and camaraderie between the different characters and uh, and then you end with a creepy guy. I mean, you got you got a sandwich there between the two amazing things. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, please go check it out. I enjoyed this episode. I still it's this is still one of my top watches. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, let me know what you think down below. If you follow Big Sky, um, what you thought of this month, this uh, this first episode for the season, how you think the season's gonna play out. I'd love to chat with you about it. And uh, yeah, and if you're while you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, like TV and talking about it, and just getting in a conversation with people about it, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. Again, thank you all for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have an amazing day. Bye bye.